So one of the things I enjoy most about design and e-learning is just how many different ways we have for creating our courses. And scenarios, for example, are a great way to introduce multiple characters who can provide viewpoints, context, perspectives that really support or even challenge the main content. And in this example, we're going to create a really simple scenario using hyperlinks, animation, and hidden slides. So in this example, right, we will click any of these characters and then they'll quickly slide into place. So a great way to add a little bit of animation while still allowing the content to really drive the slide. So starting out here with a simple slide, single slide, have a background that's been placed inside the slide master, picture frame, and some characters. First thing I want to do, because I always design my slides with a blank slide layout, is manually type in a slide title for this. I'm going to go ahead and return back to my slide, and you can see the home is right there. I'm going to move that off the slide, because I want the benefit of the slide title, but I don't want the... Um, uh, it to show up on the slide. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and shift click each of my characters and control X. Just put them in the clipboard. I want to duplicate this home slide now five times, one for each of those five characters. So control D five times gives me six slides total. Come back over here to the home and click control V to paste those guys back in place. And now I can go back to my outline and I'm going to rename each of these slides one for each of the characters. So Alan, Carl, and again, I, I don't have to do this. This just makes it a lot easier when I start applying my hyperlinks to actually have a slide title rather than slide one, slide two, and so on. Okay, so now I can go in here and return to my home slide with the characters and assign the hyperlinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shortcut Control K for Alan and I'm gonna click Carl and hit Control K and so on. Of course, I could right click each of these characters and choose add hyperlink, but I always like the, uh, the shortcut keys and Willoughby. Okay, now I can go ahead and select each of them, shift click and click Control C to copy. And now I can go ahead and just paste across all the slides. And the benefit for me to doing this is I don't have to add hyperlinks multiple times, and it also reduces my chance of you know making a mistake with one of the hyperlinks and going to the wrong slide. So at this point, right, we've we have a uh, a slide title that's unique. We also have hyperlinked characters across all the slides. So now I can go to each individual slide, click animations, and I can start adding the animation to have each of these characters slide into place. So for Alan, we'll click motion path, diagonal upright. And I want to just move it in a little bit right there and change it to fast. I'll click play. Perfect. I'll go ahead and go down to Carl. And notice that I'm only going to add an animation for one slide. And that's for whichever character slide um, I'm actually linking to. I don't want to do multiple animations on one slide. Otherwise, all the characters would go over there. That's not the effect we want. So when we did that for the hyperlinks, that was OK. But for animation, I want to make sure I'm only animating you know, Ellie for Ellie and Steve for Steve and just really one slide of animation per character. And diagonal up right. And I'm just sort of, you know, eyeballing this right there. I can always go back and, of course, fine tune it any way I want. Okay. So everyone's got their animation, has their hyperlink. Now I want to go into Articulates tab and actually hide these slides so that when I publish, both uh, the slides are all hidden and they, they uh, it advances by the user and not automatically in the player. So click Articulate and Slide Properties. Okay, so I'm going to click the first, uh, the second slide, shift click Willoughby, right click and choose Hide in Navigation Panel. And then for Advance, I just want to right click and choose Advance to Next Slide by User. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and just publish. So Articulate and Publish. Okay, and here we go. So if I click Allen, now, the only thing to notice right here, right, is I clicked Alan, but he hasn't moved. And that's because we just need to go into the sync animations and adjust when this timing comes in. So let's go back and do that real quick. So we'll click sync animations and I'll click start sync for Alan's slide. Next animation and then stop sync. Go ahead and save and close. And we'll go ahead and publish again. So now if I click Alan, there he goes, and the same for the rest of the characters. So a really great way to create some simple scenarios using some of the basic features in both PowerPoint and Presenter 09.